Hi, I'm Sam from Website Right. It's an absolute beautiful day outside today and I thought to myself, what better thing to do than stay in and make a YouTube video? Uh, but yeah, I wanted to do something different today though actually, um, where I review a website. Now, on my own personal website, I used to have a page where people could submit their URL for me to evaluate it. Uh, I'll have a look and see what things could be improved on their site and how it could be more attractive to Google and make it more usable for the user. Uh, now I did this with no obligation or no pressure for the person to take up my services because I mean if they wanted to I could improve it for them or they could just go away and sort them out. I used to like providing that free advice and that's what this YouTube channel is about really but they've given me permission on this video to do a video of it so I just wanted to talk you through the processes of what I'm seeing when I see a website what improvements that I feel could be made in order to make it more usable and get Google loving it more. Take a look at this, it's a great brand from South Africa and um, yeah, you might find it interesting. So here's the website in question, it's called Nutaria or Nataria and as I said, they're based in South Africa. So this is the website. Uh, first good thing I can see is they've got uh, an SSL certificate in the address bar, which is a good thing. And Google favors websites which are HTTPS over HTTP. Indeed, their Chrome browser will actually say unsecure website for HTTP. So it just gives people peace of mind as well. Um, now this is the home page. Um, now whilst it's a sort of clean design, from looking at it, I feel as though there's not enough information on the first page for users to really know what the company's about. I mean, I do think it's useful to have pictures of nuts and also a tagline, which seems to be the nut people, but at the moment, I don't really know what they do. So I'd be tempted to put more information on the homepage of the website. Now, Google actually requires content, of course, to be able to classify websites in its index. And without this, it, it doesn't really know what words it should be indexing you for. So whatever you want to get found for in Google, it's important that your homepage at least possesses that information. Uh, now, because of the lack of content on this website, there may be a problem in getting it noticed in the search engine. So that's the, one of the first things I could see. Um, now, site speed is another issue. Uh, Google likes websites to be fast and accessible. So as I scroll through the website, let's have a look. It's not overly bad and I managed to get through fairly quickly from page to page. I mean, I would recommend putting a caching plugin on there if there wasn't any already. Now, I am assuming this uses WordPress and the quick way to find out would be just to right click anywhere on the home page, you go to view page source and then just have a look if there's any little signs. So let's go WP, uh, yeah, there is look, WP content there. So that indicates that they do use WordPress. So that's a good website. Uh, that's a good sign for their website that shows that they're at least, they've at least got the correct foundations to move forward with the website. If it was built using a builder such as Wix or one and one or even done, you know, in plain HTML, not many people do that these days, but you know, it might have problems trying to improve it. Right, let's uh, have a look elsewhere. Now, um, one thing I've actually noticed that the homepage doesn't really have a clear call to action in terms of a button for people to get in touch. Now, at this stage, I don't know whether they're just using this website as just a sort of um, a page for people to refer to if they did see the website address on some stationery or a business card. Maybe they're not really looking to pick up clients from this page, but to me, it would be a good, uh, idea to have a clear way for people to get in touch. Now, considering a large percentage of their users will be visiting from a mobile, I'm just doing it on my phone in the background, and a clear click to call button would be really useful too. Uh, anyway, let's just go on to the about section as well, see what we got. I mean, yeah, it's it's pretty plain really. Um, it says exactly what they do, but at this point, when I look to see about a company i really like seeing a few icons and just seeing three or four you know bullet points exactly what they do without having to read through in terms of the paragraphs now um they've got a few images there that perhaps uh, suggest what they do but these parts here as well are a little bit unclear in terms of the formatting i'm not overly keen on it 
when there's large chunks of text, people tend to sort of uh, put different background colors in stripes on the website as they scroll down just for a bit of differentiation there. Um, but I mean, it's 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 not bad. However, it could be improved um, a little bit of color, maybe um, and some more pictures as well would definitely be required um, now at this stage also I'd say like in terms of the uh, internal links there aren't any apart from these ones here now what's always good for SEO purposes is to actually link to other pages on your website uh, I mean for instance this full service nut company here I'll be linking back to the home page um, it just shows Google if you've got internal links on your website that contain keywords that you're trying to rank for then obviously it's going to give you preference for those keywords. If you're just only linking about with home and about, that, that doesn't really um, basically verify to Google that your website is about what you say it is. So if you can in, internally link using your own keywords, then this is a much better thing. So if you have external links back to your website, which use those keywords, then you've qualified it by having those links on your site as well. So chances are you will go up for those keywords. But yeah, I mean, that's one thing that I can also see straight away. Now I'm going to the suppliers page here. Let's see what this is all about. Again, you know, a few bits of text here, but what would be really handy is for a map here, to be honest, um, uh, you know, Tanzania and Mozambique. Now, I know that people from the area probably know exactly where it is, but um, I would be tempted to make it a little bit more sort of uh, informational. More pictures would be good. Headings would be ideal. People don't tend to like reading big chunks of text like this. If you can split it into, say, three chunks where you've got one image, a second image column and a third image column and then just a paragraph under each that certainly makes it more digestible uh, let's go on to our products now and now this is a different layout now to what we've got uh, from the rest of the website so I don't know why all of a sudden they're using a different header I, I do like the idea of using these image based headers not overly keen on the fact that this is not uh, centrally placed uh, vertically within this part but you know never mind um, but you know this is the kind of thing i was talking about on the previous page actually it's better because it's more at a glance and you can see exactly what it is with a little bit of information underneath so that's not bad at all but say if i was someone that came across this website and i was really interested in finding out more information now all i've got is that little contact link at the top now whilst that's obviously you know fairly obvious to me and you like some people do need to be guided a little bit more uh, but anyway let's go on to the contact and see what there is here Again, a different kind of formatting. I presume this has been done uh, to make sure that the images stand out here. But I mean, it, yeah, it's not bad. Um, and they've got a phone number. Now, if I was to click that from a mobile, would it turn into a clickable link? I'm not too sure. Email, good to have uh, the email address there, but also they've done well by having an actual form on the website as well. However, it doesn't seem to have any captures. Uh, if you use Google Recapture, basically the more services you use of Google, the better, because it shows that you're cooperating with them. If you've got Recapture on there, one, it will stop you getting spam, but two, also it shows that uh, you're willing to use their services. Now, they've got a Google Map, which is good. Um, and I mean, this, yeah, this, this isn't bad at all. Now, one thing I do notice, there's no privacy policy, no terms and conditions. I would say that is a must. Also, if you can link to your sitemap that WordPress automatically generates, even better if you use the Yoast SEO plugin, that would be good. And I'll be putting that in the footer too. Um, also, let's just right click and view the page source again. Now I'm looking for Google Analytics to see if they use analytics. Uh, they do use Yoast, which is good, very good there. Um, quick way to see if they use analytics, go through the source code, type in UA hyphen, no, they haven't got it, because that's the short codes that Google use. Now, as many of Google's services, as I said, with ReCapture, if you can use Google Analytics, that's great. If you can use Google Search Console as well, that is also great, because that helps monitor the health of your website and eradicates any errors like 404 page not found errors. No one wants that. Um, if you are sh showing that you comply to Google, 
then that's a, a really good thing. Um, now, I've also noticed a lack of social media here. Um, if you're using social media, make it clear. Uh, have icons, have Facebook like boxes, have your latest tweets, have your Instagram photos, because this it not only helps to strengthen the brand and actually get likes or follows to those relevant services, but it also gives users peace of mind that you are a real and reputable company. If they see that more people have liked your your page, you know, then the better. It it basically acts as social proof here. But I mean, I'm looking at this um, maybe over critically. I mean, the website will do exactly what it needs to do. And the brand there is actually, you know, it's a great logo. I'd be reinforcing that brand as much as possible. Um, the font choice is absolutely fine. I mean, people can have different styles as they want it. But I mean, I would say it's not bad whatsoever. However, you know, there can be some real big changes that could be made uh, to improve it. Now, I have only just scratched the surface here. Now, I could get into WordPress and find more things where it could be improved. But um, it's certainly not a bad start for a WordPress website. Not bad at all. However, uh, yeah, it's certainly got the foundations that can be built on. So if you want your website to be reviewed, let me know. Um, send me an email rather than put them in the comments because I may miss them. My email address is in the description or you can leave me a contact message via my own website. That's websiterite.co.uk. Hit the contact page and then submit your link there because uh, I'd be really interested in seeing lots of different websites um, across the internet superhighway and I'll happily do a review and put it online for you. If you like this video, do subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And also, if there's any things that you've seen through me scrolling around that you disagree with, or you think, Sam, you know, this website is bad because they didn't do this or that, that please let me know because I'm always happy to take on board more advice. I'm learning all the time and chances you are too. So anyway, hope you found that helpful and I'll see you again very soon.